never used to be at junior high A place that I ain't never used to be at Excuse the time If it's school stomach cars Who can move head and hard I lose the name, go to lunch Refuse the name, roll the blood But after the school Years pass and I'm still smoking I can be sleep but you can bet my eyes be still open 10,080p nigga, I'm real focused When I shine, I'm like in a picture Bitch, you will notice I stand tall, you can't overlook me Straight from the bottom, you can't understand it Nigga, you know I'm from another planet I'm in the sky and I ain't fucking landing Melted marshmallow neckline face. Oh, Santa Claus, all that. Bread and wine. And all of that. Yo, you want to practice death? You want to practice phallic religion? Hey, go to a Catholic church on the first Sunday. And all of that. Don't go no further than that. Hey, you want to practice communion? Watch goddamn the homeboy who played Anthony Hopkins' uh, goddamn cannibal movie. And all of that. Hey, that's what you're doing in the mind. That's what your monkey ass doing in the mind. What, what you thought it was helping you with some insecurity? You thought it was helping you get some toilet paper to wipe your ass? You, know you thought it was helping you to pay the electric bill next month or something? What else you thought it was doing? That sounds shadow government yappy too. You know what I'm saying? You're all lost. You're just lost for no reason. You don't know. You're lost here. You're lost there. You know, it's anywhere, get the fuck out of here. That's how God look at it. You ain't got to go. I don't know. You got to go home. You get the fuck out of here. God don't play. Yo, I'm going to tell you that right. God don't play. Real shit. Don't get too funky. You flunking your buttercream head right now. Don't understand. Hey, it's not in the game like John Madden. It's not in the game like John Madden. It's in this. 
It's in the bread and wine, like first, like Catholic Church on first Sunday. It all says in the bread and the wine. Understand that before we get deep, so I can like break down, you know, the original starting point that fathered the intellectual property Jim Jones had. Y'all you know said we didn't talk about Dipset. Dipset. No, we're not talking about the rapper. We talking about homeboy who had the Coca Cola and stuff like that. Y'all. Coca-Cola in the 80s once upon a time. Yeah, a lot of y'all are crack babies now. Y'all you know said that they've been messing with fluids and, and psyops and synthetic, you know what I'm saying, alchemies together to create you drinking live fluids and flavor gas. Drinking flavor gas. <laughs> you think it's called sugar, it's called sugar carbon, aka flavored gas. Drink a Pepsi right now, see if you have to burp, burp or take a fart or something like that. You get flavored gas. And all of that. They got y'all drinking flavored carbon gas. Oh, shit, they call it sugar carbon. Oh, yeah. Sweet gas. Oh, no, they got y'all drinking sweet, oh, sweet Lipton tea gas. And oh, no, they got y'all flowed out. They got y'all flowed out. No wonder y'all got brain farts. No wonder y'all got brain farts all day. Foggy, cloudy, cloudy judgment. Well, I said decision skills is foggy. Oh, blah, 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 blah. You can't, hey, 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 you can't see things clearly. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Hey, 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 situations you have, somebody always muddy in the waters. Oh, blah, 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 blah. You got a dirty, nasty work habit in mind. And don't go no further than that. Hey, hey, uncircumcised frontal lobe. And don't go no further than that. Yeah, we're going to the esoteric hospital right now. We're about to get all these goddamn esoteric mental illnesses taken care of. Today. Watching my channel, we get all the esoteric medicines and cures and stuff like that. You never look back. You ain't got to go get no more vitamins. AKA, it's said and done. Everything gets debunked. One live stream when you fucking with Uriel. It all says that you ain't never got to go back like, well, it's maybe this, is maybe that. No. One Uriel live stream down here in the spiritual world. One cure. You ain't got to keep being at the esoteric trap house that they created. Pharmaceutical, uh, no, magic, mastic, all this stuff is to mean the same thing as the hospital. mean the same thing. No, I'm saying, see, the government don't like that. You know what I'm saying? That I'm taking y'all to somewhere away from the esoteric drug trap house that they create. Always trying to create suspensories and stuff like that i'm taking y'all to the holy waters you could go pick the fruits and nature the certain spices the the plant that cayenne pepper come from y'all said stuff like that y'all said you go stuff like that never look back aka an indoctrination down here never look back to it shadow government no longer got power over it y'all said you've been cured in the mental world still said y'all get it now Y'all think I just be talking? No, this be like deep areas and mapping out and putting on an esoteric GPS and being in these locations for real before I even say something. You know what I'm don't think I'm just saying shit like it because it sounds good. No, it's the real thing. Or it wouldn't be as above, so below. Y'all smack monkeys keep needing their vitamins and stuff and there ain't no cures. So obviously it starts with the mind. Once your mind is healed, it might not even bend in and produce results as you even acting on something that produces results of you being flunked out in some way, shape, or form. Rather catching cancer or whatever the case may be, you could be in the right mental form, and now you so cured there, you don't physically make a mistake, eat too much bread, and can't be cured down here. How about that? You know I'm saying, how about that? So it's always about the spiritual aspect first before you even get lost into what the government creating for y'all. Yeast. So the first... This is one of the first aspects of how all y'all hormones got unbalanced. Yeast. Alcohol came second when it comes into, hey, this fucks up their uh, hormonal imbalances too. But during this period of time, when they when they first did the slavery towards the Jews and stuff, and they created their little government on the other side and shit. Now, it's the same group of people. It's just different theology. Now, based upon the alchemy and the shadow piece and stuff like that, you know, based upon being at a healthy starting point where you don't you know that you're born off blood and you're a walking blood cell. So for the most part, we have to find subsidiaries of animals and plants and things of that nature, but especially animals that have almost similar DNA that we can extract, fry or cook so it can replenish the uh, what we may lack 
the moment we get born out of our mother's, you know, reverse C-section and we start to uh, start to deteriorate. Soon as you lack the pus and the blood that your body made out of. So since they don't want to, you know, create some situation where it seemed like there's going to be a system around a, a food, a food chain of human products and blood and stuff like that, which they actually do behind closed doors. We, they create subsidiaries. So you get subsidiary pus or blood that would be like cow milk, synthetic milk, um, nu nutrients that could be pulled out from plants and put into a formation like baby formula and things of that nature. And, you know, as far as everything being GMO, as far as what y'all see in these foods today. So that's the starting point of at a very good stage. Yeah, we can come up with ideas like I don't want to eat my relative and stuff like that. And it is coming up with a good decision of thinking at this period of time, let's find subsidiary things that kind of match our DNA and we can modify the things of that nature. And therefore, we could still, you know, have a healthy life by not needing human blood. And, but knowing that this is how we came out in the first place so, and drinking pus as your mother's blood. You know what I'm saying? So you, we can't get too spooky in our mind and you too much. I'm only reminding you what you already know. You got to know you a demon, though, too. You got to know you in a snake body. This is a dragon body, period. You could try to make up these delusions on your mind to play it out in areas where you think it's healthy for you. But if you go too far into that stimuli, you will forget the fact that you survive off blood. Like, they, they, you wasn't drinking nothing else and you ain't come out of nothing else but flesh and blood. So if that was the life and as soon as you came out, you start deteriorating and you need food and stuff like that. When you look in that food, you're just looking at things that subsidiary to us within your mother's body, period. And when we can't find the actual full consistence of it, this takes us into deeper levels of finding more animals and shit like that. So it goes beyond a cow and a pig. Now it goes to chickens. Now it goes to certain other birds. Now it goes to duck. Now it goes to, uh, you know what I'm saying? It's all the way to the point now. I didn't see a lot of people eat raccoon meat and shit. And possum meat. You know what I'm saying? Having old school uh, people from the South, homeboys, grandfathers. You know what I'm saying? And they they hold back, be like a, look like a mechanic shop slash catch animals slash bb gun shoot birds down slash whatever kind of shit slingshot treehouse type shit that they be bringing up that is the, uh, my dude grandfather have and shit like that so they used to catch well his grandfather used to catch possums and raccoons and feed them and shit like that and then around thanksgiving you know snap the, the the neck and the uh and the tail apart and fry that motherfucker duck meat and shit like that nah, i ain't never ate that shit, but like i, I seen it so for the most part, it's not about what we're doing, it's how we do it. The mechanism, equilibrium, is you ain't got no choice to do it. You need some type of blood. That's what hormones and DNA is. Different formations that get developed out of blood, period. Um, but it ain't what we do, it's how we do it. And we've been having people in government trying to find more sufficient ways to do it. So we don't all maintain to be caveman and cavewoman to the point that we, you know, initially being in that mind state, we may think it's normal for cannibalism. But we're going to be doing something anyway, being in search for things that can nurture, nourish us. So I'm glad that humans became intelligent enough that that doesn't seem like a good idea, even if it's something that we fell into and it's really just our nature. You know what I'm saying? Or you're going to have to explain to me what, what was you what was supporting you for your life before you came out of your mother's ass. And then what was you drinking for you to be sustained before you turned three years old? So, and if you can't tell me anything else but milk or and, and, and pus and stuff like that, then God damn it, you're going to have to. Get out your fucking feelings and realize you fail. You're a fallen angel. you in hell right now. Point blank, period. It ain't what we do. It's how we do it. We got to deal with it and come back together. Period. Now, so any good starting point that can have us not destroying each other completely is I kind of look at that on a percentage scale of good through the lens of bias. But me being Archangel Uriel, I understand we all fail anyway. You could try to run away from that and you would die way faster than uh, than your life and letting life play out itself for God doing it and stuff like that. So you got to know it's, it's kind of our fault. We can't be like, well, why would God do this? Why? This takes you back to one of my older live streams. You is your responsibility. Ain't no God put you here or whatever. Y'all getting that from their concept that they're playing at on earth and claiming that they put you here just in a mental mind state and you're believing it physically that leads you into having their jobs. That's as far as they shit go. 
when you listen to my shit, all possibility, I'm going to tell you God ain't got shit to do with none of that shit. Not no astrology, not no numerology. All of it is demonic when you push me to a certain level and I tell you all that and shit. And it's about knowing the fight so you know what you're fighting so you get better disciplines. So when you know something, you can treat it like a bitch. That might sound derogatory, so let's make it make sense for logical people. When you know how to deal with something and no longer come an issue for you. And you can teach others what they're lost in if they're, un if they're not understanding what they're distracted in at the moment that's leading them to negative results. Okay, that goes for all things. So if God knows all things, it's important for you to be aware of all things or you won't even know what you're fighting. So if you're lost into a bias, you're already lost in something. A mind, a feeling, and it's damage so you need some external representation to have it as a crutch or to have some type of protection from it being vulnerable or insecure and a lot of times you use the statistics of the small dick energy the people who run the world and when they give you a template you create a nigga spell you think you know it better than them because you're deeply disutilizing it for a protection of your vulnerability being lost in the world because you don't know who you are in the first place so it's all leading to mental damage so you gotta understand that too but for the most part, when they're in these energies, y'all allowing them to maintain some type of intelligence and justify it like it's the right thing to do just because it's working. And just because we can see negative results when people don't know how to utilize their own characteristics a certain way or utilize their own desires a certain way. You know what I'm saying? So they start to put people in a box. And then when multiple people's in a box, once again, there's no God there, equilibrium. Because once people in a box, it don't matter how you come in. You get put in that box. And ain't no two snowflakes the same. It ain't what we do is how we do it. Everybody might be doing something similar, but they may be doing it in their own individual way. And there may be uh, intelligence in a specific way of doing something that could actually adjust that or get rid of that or destroy it as a hand. And the government don't look at it like that. They just look at everything as a whole. Oh, okay, these Christians. So they they not looking at specific Christians like, okay, this one, we can accept them being the next to the Pope and let the Pope listen to what they see in the Bible that we may not have seen. They just, oh, they are Christians, so we know it like this. So anytime they want to get rid of the whole thing, everybody get left as casualty of war. Everybody be looked at as disposable. So for the most part, you'll be a small micro version of what was considered that they be doing with third world, third world countries when they practice that as the playing field for the battlegrounds for the war due to the fact that people like in China, Japan, England and America for us to not slide too far thinking we can have our own thought and we better keep building their world with these jobs, business, entertainment, education, religion and politics and not act like we saying feed me, feed me and we're not the ones building these buildings. The moment we put the Jews and the Masons in a position of having to build everything and feed everybody and everybody so much having kids out of wetlock and incest so they end up third country, they're not learning the, jo they're not learning the jobs, they're just lost into the religious Jewish aspect of it and they're not learning the actual jobs. The government utilized these individuals as a uh, playing field for the battlegrounds as an example for people that is with the religion and building the world. They're looking at that like, oh, these are our children that's more sufficient. Th these are pets that actually putting it both together. So anytime they want to slide off and get too much in their own thought, too much in their own religion, and don't build these jobs, don't build these buildings with our statues on it, don't come get this money with our faces on it, don't come create this new technology that we're giving them the blueprint to, to build so we can lay on our stomach somewhere in the Vatican, right? Oh, we're going to use the battlefields to create some false war based upon something that they're lost in to let them know don't be lost in it. This is the early stages of even the Quran rejecting Jesus and things of that nature and the Jews and the Jesuits, how they're trying to formulate it based upon too many individuals getting lost in the religious aspect of it and not putting their boots on the ground and actually building the world, which is in the first place why they created the religion, because the religion is the first government. Once people get lost into the religious aspect and not built what it's meant for, then this is where they have to come up with more reverse psychology. So now we have separating religion from um and government or church from government secularism and things of that nature but still inverted in a way of still being in a nation that's more percentage level on a side of a religion like christianity if you're on the western hemisphere and catholic you know what i'm saying you're a little bit more or more east you'll be more muslim more islam more islamic but for the most part this is what they're actually doing as putting everybody in one box still and have y'all still up under their government system and they just giving y'all something to pick from. And by y'all not understanding that, y'all get lost into arguing amongst each other. And then they can just practice anything on y'all. And it's the early stages of uh, anytime somebody is not getting with the program, right? They create forms of genocide. So, you know, 
people like Hitler or people like uh, Jim Jones wouldn't have these ideas if they didn't get it from the people who gave us this language and, and the meaning in the first place and put some of these stories in the books because a lot of these stories in the books is about the people in the government and Pharaoh and these are some of the first practices that they was doing on people before it's updated in today's time and it just looked like jail when you do something against the government but in, in those times it might have been death and shit like that hang you upside down on a cross all the way down to when that became too much unmorally right they became more sufficient and this is creating things out of nature and creating a synthetic thing in nature right and, and first of all putting it in your blood injection so when you look at that context this takes you to the early stages of why bread and wine is in the bible and Jesus could turn water into wine. The esoteric aspect of it is your emotions is water. It turning into wine is Jesus could get you drunk off your emotions, right? With that masculine thought. So you don't be so over obliviated in your emotions and you can have some exhilarated thought, exalted thought. Jesus, son, first house, Aries, exalt, exaltation, Yahweh, bring it down. Uh, Aldebaran, Michael, spirit in the flesh form, Jesus as an allegory of your solar plexus based upon the physical forms in the Bible is representing the metaphysics, the sun and the moon and the thoughts and the feelings bend down and condensing into this actual thing right so for the most part it's talking about that right now they start to physically practice that when you want to get out of your problems so they extract things so they create this is why it's called spirit it ain't talking about the fluid of spirit itself it's talking about the mechanism all these words we use are just experiences that we that the spirit experience your spirit can't really fully be in any of these things mind or physically so when we use the thing that the spirit do get out of thoughts and feelings like the jewish philosophers think about it that help you get out of a thought or get out of a feeling so they know getting close to god is going through man a logical thought not a heavy emotion accumulation of thoughts and ideas that's a form of extraction so that mechanism play out as above so below we see a seed being inside an apple that could be extracted we see things that's in encapsulated within something that could be extracted you have a heart inside of you that could be extract extracted outside of your body because it's within the body Right. So when we practice that in nature, we can extract the minerals out of something. And since we know fusion, friction and pressure um, creates different results, negative and positive, we could take an extraction from this plant and take a, another extraction from something that's in a complete opposite mineral or geographical location or, you know, periodic table. Right. Put it together and play out like the alchemy explosion. Right. But it could be a, it's going to play out like a gas a fume with two things that don't belong together and then once you have that extraction in a tube you can like have it in there long enough so it's spoil and then it becomes liquefied and stuff like that so when you get dry fruits like grapes and stuff like that you extract the fruit out of the goddamn shell and everything of that nature put it in some type of container like they're freezing it the same way how they utilize those shots to put in y'all canned goods for you know a can of string beans to survive for 100 years in some way shape or form and then or the shit that they put in y'all meat so they can put it in on the meat racks in these grocery stores and things of that nature a little longer than they actually supposed to. And then for the most part, once it turned into a fuel, a, a, a fluid, it has the mechanism equilibrium of extraction and the fluid itself will extract you from anything that you are in mentally, physically. Right. So when you drink it, you will feel an out of body experience and things of that nature, because of the way it play with your blood cells is it make the blood rush, create fusions, frictions and pressures. And once the fluid that you create your mind, like that that you created from your mind, start to go through that same spicy event beyond just you eating peppers and things of that nature, right? This makes your spirit not have full control over the mental and the physical because, you know, the mental condense and become the physical, the blood flow. And if they're going, if the blood flow that you made the mind is going through crashing or spicy or speeding up because it's being influenced by some foreign alchemy, and things of that nature that blood rush itself make the spirit and the mind that's making that blood and things of that nature have to be more focused on that and when when the spirit is more focused on that that plays out in this reality as you think you're drunk or you think you're high but your spirit having to pay, pay attention to your blood flow being influenced sped up with adrenaline fusion friction pressure and when anything crash in on even on a lighter scale the fluid produced as a gas, just like evaporation, just like uh, um, you boiling some water. That's what your blood doing. So you have gas in you. And, and, and uh, thank you so much for the donation, David Chatty. Um, um, I don't. I, I'm starting to think you might be a psyop now. I have to believe that. I put it. I put it in the goddamn books. I was like, wait a minute. This, 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 that, and the third, and this, that, and this, that. This is a psyop coming in a good way. Gotta be. Gotta be. 
I appreciate the donation from the bottom of my heart. But let me see. You said um, divergent thinking and how it corresponds to create creativity in general. Y'all, y'all, y'all take that question and ponder on that for a minute, and 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 then I w- I want to ask y'all: Am I tripping or not? And if y'all say I'm tripping, I'm gonna come up with an answer with that. If y'all say I ain't tripping, I'm gonna jump back on the on the topic. Okay, I'm not tripping. Uh, okay, uh, I, 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 I know I can't be tripping. And then even on top of that, as much as what I'm talking about right now, what can a person be thinking about? T- so the whole time they're not even listening to what I'm talking about. They're just listening and then come up with they only care. They want to know. So it's like even on that point, that kind of make me suspicious a little bit. That's suspicious. That's suspicious a little bit. Yeah, you know I'm saying. That's a little suspicious, but uh, I appreciate the donation from the Bob Art. Real shit, no, but I you might have to ask that question while I'm uh doing some open panel because I I don't even get it to to kind of stop where my train of thought was going. Yes, I got that's just in the that's for the books right there. That's for the books. Y'all say that. Appreciate the donation from the Bob But yeah, check this out. So. Ask yourself this question, right? This this is really the Nobel Peace Prize question and stuff like that because y'all claim y'all don't y'all so much in indoctrination and then y'all claim y'all switching y'all diets and things of that nature, which I recommend bell peppers and shit, stuff bell peppers and shit like that. But you know, you could do things in moderation because they updated it. But if you really want to be in the Bible or if you really want to think about things, of course the Lucifer, their logic is going to come to you in a way you're unaware of. So, of course, it's going to lie to you and tell you the devil's a lie. And that's the one that's playing your God. So <clears throat> when you think about it like this <clears throat> and you want to be in one breath, because I want to get y'all out of all the clearest ways to the things that y'all don't really think about. But you be in the contradiction also. So it's really not your fault. But Archangel Uriel here in one breath, you'd be like, yeah, I want to put people on these celery sticks, this vitamins and this stuff like that, because we need to get back to nature. But. Everything you like trying to be some exercise guru or something like that. I bet every all the way to a Hebrew Israelite, you eat a lot of bean pies. I bet everything y'all eat, though, is dependent on bread. And in all actuality, that's the first thing you can't find in nature. Tell me where's a bread tree at? Where is there a a bread bush? Go find me a a bread flower that bread grew out of. I'll wait. Go find me a wine well. Go find me a, a wine a wine river trail that we be seeing in North Carolina and stuff with good cold water and stuff, no matter how much dirt is running through it. I don't see no wine do that. Where's the wine tree? So we know how wine get created. Extracted from fruits and, and dip frozen and deteriorized with steroids, right? And it mixed with another thing to preserve it. So it's alchemy. Then we we got the periodic table and the minerals that we could crunch together and make goddamn yeast. A, a yeast ball. That ain't nothing else what, what bread is, no matter what kind of bread it is. They try to make you think, hey, this is a healthier bread, wheat bread. This is a wheat yeast ball. Right? So what is yeast? Hormones. It's the it's the minerals and the bacteria of some dirty shit in nature that they mixing together like wine and alchemy again. So the there's no bread that actually grow. It has to be made. There's no wine that's actually extracted. It has to actually be alchemy up and extracted from actual fruits. So these are man manipulating nature and making something that don't grow in nature off of things that grow in nature. All the way down to y'all vitamins and synthetic everything. 
So this gives them in charge. This puts them in charge of how you react and respond physically to the environment around you and things of that nature, which gives them ideas to add on to you believing you catching some virus in the air where there's no such thing as catching a virus in the air like a swine flu or something like that. And based upon you not knowing about BTD, body temperature um, disorder, everybody got their own body temperature. So when it's in disorder, that means it's not resonating with, if you got the air conditioner on too long, and the season get ready to change. If you ain't got no coat on and it's winter outside. Your body play out those same traits all year round. So we all experience it on a macro scale when we're not doing our own individual micro things when the season actually changing. So y'all allow them to capitalize off that by you not knowing more about yourself and allowing them to tell you, come get our medicine because the reason you feel like that and you're developing mucus because you're catching something outside of you. But anytime the season is changing, we even see actual bugs that they contradiction. They not intelligent enough to make stories behind so it can make their contradictions more believable. During seasonal transitions, we see certain animals have to get more shelter and certain bugs actually die. So how y'all going to let them believe any parasite or bacteria floating in the air? Once you call it a virus, that means it's a dead bacteria. How y'all allowing them to t tell y'all the time we actually see strong bugs die, seasons changing, some bacteria surviving? That's dumb. Like, you got to go outside of this. Let God show you why you're reacting to the universe. You're made of this. This is the nervous system. You're made out of the stimuli. So that's why you're reacting to it. Different than a goddamn it, something we make out of it, synthetic, and you can't see no reaction, but you can see a tree, animal, bug, flower, and you react to it. So you know you're made out of the same thing. So when you're developing mucus, you know that these are blood cells going to war and in and, and resistant mode or going through shock because your body temperature is not in the same um, temp template or, the, or temp um, temperament as the outside environment around you. And things of that nature. And when you go through that enough, your blood cells get stronger. So the stronger they get, the less mucus they have to create, a.k.a. the less pain you'll create. You could you could deal with the seasons changing more. You could sleep up under the air conditioner for summertime a lot longer. You could say you could uh, run outside real fast without a coat and come back in the crib without catching a cold or your ammonia a lot faster because it's ammonia and all that. And colds is something your body do from the inside based upon the reaction of the shock. Just like God told you, you could practice something like getting a glass, putting some water in it, letting it freeze in the freezer, then take it out and run it up under hot water and the glass will crack. You see what I'm saying? That's kind of like the same kind of mechanism when you think you're feeling pain, but it's your body building resistance. And the more you go through it, it gets tougher. Like some indoctrinated person keep t taking shrooms and DMT and they got to take more next time because their brain have already figured out how to heal itself to protect itself from getting that damaged again when it get hit upside the head with some alchemy or some stupid ass shit, some hippie stupid ass shit. So for the most part, you know what I'm saying? All of those are synthetic. It don't just come straight from the plant. So you got to understand a lot of times these things that they have y'all in, you'll be so confused, but they create it and you won't know why you have hormonal imbalances and shit. And these things is made out of hormones. So want to make you think too much, want to make you feel too much and things of that nature. So bread is the number one cause of obesity. Bread is the number one cause of cancer. Bread is the number one cause of sexual confusion so if you are male or female and you you're sexually confused you was you was fed too much bread in your life or you got it you got you eat bread with everything you might eat bread with everything so you got you got a lot of gay thoughts um, um a lot of people who be claiming oh this person's a soy boy this person a soy boy they be rapper based they be having small dick energy i bet they eat everything with bread uh, acts acts fresh and fit what they eat everything with and they be the first people to say that. Oh, you're a soy boy. You're a soy boy. But he be the most emotional person breaking cups and stuff like that. I bet he eat a whole bunch of bread. It's that deep. I'm telling you, it's that, it's that deep. Um, um, let's say you too emotional and you a man. You eat too much bread. Let's say you too logical and you a female. You eat too much bread. If you a female, you eat a lot of bread, you will start growing a mustache. Literally. I swear to goodness, like that, that's how it, it, it jumped your hormone because it's yeast 
and your blood make its own yeast. So when you when 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 you start uh, adding too much, it slow your blood flow down. So your blood start to get stuck stuck in certain areas, and you can get blood clots and cancers and stuff like that because your blood too thick. And now you got to go to the hospital, and then they tell you it's something else why you always fatigued or why you uh you getting certain illnesses in certain areas and kidney problems and stuff like that and things and they'd be trying to get you other shit that ain't got nothing to do with nothing else but you got too much fucking yeast you need a yeast flushing out of your blood you need a yeast flushing and 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 when i be sitting back and be thinking i'll be thinking wait a minute is the government doing that on on purpose or did they start something but they don't know that this is leading into outcomes of hormonal imbalances. They just, they're just in the thought form of this is the slow death and this is us praising when that when we started ruling uh, rulership back then and we don't do it no more. We got jails now. So the Catholic Church always worship wine or cranberry juice and bread or crackers or something like that as a ceremony of worshiping one of their old warlords original uh, thoughts of maintaining government. Because that's all the Shemitic language is and stuff like that, right? It's like, Look at it like this, right? Let's say your grandfather and your grandmother is one of the reasons y'all have block parties every year. And let's call that like a mini government, right? And let's say there's people down the line as descendants that may not know about the oral tradition. And then there's people down the line that do know about the oral tradition. So the block parties are still happening. Now, the people that's participating, they're just ish. Jewish like or whatever they're just going off the template but it's something they do hey I practice Christmas too hey we practice having a block party too right and things right now in this area this is after the indoctrination already happening and oral traditions still have to be updated but in this aspect right shemetic language would be this the people that's participating that understand the oral tradition and the people who don't understand it, when they start to argue, let's say the people who don't know about the oral tradition, but they at the block party. Let's say they say a word that the people don't like at the at the block party. And let's say the people who run in a block party, let's say it's the Jews. The person don't know what they said. They just going and the Jews who say they don't like it, they're gonna call it anti-Semiticism. But it's purely just this. It ain't got nothing to do with God or no word being magic. It got everything to do with the people who understand the oral tradition that's at the block party running it too. The 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 uh the person who they claim they don't like that name that they just said and claim it was anti-Semitic. This person just said the person's name who created that block party. That's it. They got nothing to do with God. So the 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 person grandparents that created it, they probably had a name, and the name probably was mixed in the title. Of what they named the block party shit. And any time in this the, this time that they already run a shit. Let's say it's 100 years down the line. And everybody is already practicing uh, Chris, uh, uh, Christmas. The block party. But they come up with their own nigga spell. The way they think they're doing it. And this is why the people who run the world. Still got more control over it. Than these people to be like. No Christmas mean this. Jesus Christ mean that. But the moment you're preaching their shit. But you say something that they don't like. And you don't know what you said. You'll get fired like Nick Cannon. But what you basically just said is something they feel disrespected. You, they feel you're disrespecting their grandfather that created this system you in in the first place. This block party you in the first place. That's all it is. And they're calling the word magic because whatever space as above, the astrology as below that they came up with that template, that it was the time that they had, that they said that this person came up with that idea and started to put it in practice. They're, they're giving that the justification of saying that idea came from God because or it came from something that they're calling God because if a person didn't have it before and they got it and then they started to do it as below and it worked. It's them playing God, but trying to justify why they got that idea and the people get lost into the justifications like the just a floating mind Masonic thought got control over the person who just came up with that idea and trying to justify why they came up with that idea. So this is why you can have Christians or religious people in today's time try to argue that some Jew seen something that somehow we can't see. And we need to believe this preacher why a Jew seen something that even the preacher didn't see. So it's all bearing false witness. It's stupid. But at the same time, when you start to understand from that aspect, you will start to see how they start to uh, put you on witchcraft and shit. Hold on. Let me miss my point either. Yeah. So that's all holidays be. The holidays is be the main ones. The Bible go into even weeks and, and certain days throughout the week where there were certain rulers back in the day 
that created the system we in came up with certain ideas how to rule that based off oral tradition they uphold to this day and write it in different ways that we can do it, update it with the language and stuff like that based upon how to run a society. Where is that in today? So purely when it comes to ceremonies like the 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 inauguration, president shit, um, um, every time they come up here, report the clothes they wear, we're, we're all worshiping like holy days, holy weeks and certain days throughout the months that the big versions holidays when they did a big event. But they go deep. Anything all the way to going in the courtroom. Like if I was in the courtroom, I'd be like, are y'all ill? And like, if let's get the fucking business. If I if I did a crime, we not about to be up here every fucking day. Talk about we got to raise up, put our hands over our heart in the Star Spanger banner. Are you mentally ill? Let's get the fucking business. Or let's have an intelligent conversation. Is we just sitting here doing a, a micro holiday, holy day, a week or day version of it where we're praising a old government's idea of how they ushered in something. And that's what we're, and that's what we're worshiping at the moment because this is idol worship. This don't make no motherfucking sense. I'm talking, let's get the fucking business for somebody go somebody go upside somebody's head. Y'all said, but shit like that make me mad that we in a world ran by a whole bunch of children, mental ill people. Where it's obvious what we're doing is not enough people in the world that's reprobates pointing to that. Everybody won't be in jail. If you just point out all the real shit. It's like the real like real shit. I, like, I start questioning, I'm like, are you really about to have us all waste 5, 10 seconds? W what are we doing this for? This is childish. Oh, oh, we're respecting our fathers of this country. For what? Killing turkeys and creating a war? We didn't have to do it like that. Like, it's so much shit that they just got y'all not just looking past. Y'all live in a childish ass world. Ran by childish people that they, every time you go on Piers Morgan, they're having a childish ass conversation. What the fuck can we learn from what the fuck they're debating about? All the way to Destiny, you know he got fake views. The 10,000, that, that's fake. That's a psyop. Because the shit that they talk about is the dumbest shit. He don't make no motherfucker sense. None of Nobody's talk, talking about nothing real. No actual topics. Nothing. It's, it's like reprobate. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's stuff that set us back. It's stuff that keep us behind. So back in the early Abrahamic religion, this was the first Jim Jones, the wine and the bread for anybody who don't build, don't have their job. And that feed me, feed me. I want water, but I'm not about to build y'all cotton. I'm not about to build y'all pyramid. I'm not like that kind of concept, like energy where you having kids out of wetlock, but you can't keep a job updated 21st century version of it. But back in the day, it was that. And the government replaced that with religion, covenant. So that's why jail was more death. And hell was putting you to death in some way, shape, or form. Uh, based upon you going against the gods, the rulers, and their thought forms that they're anthropomorphizing. Based upon their little system that they created to create the cuneiform and the hieroglyphics based upon the sun and the moon transits. And if we act out those type of movements as below, characterized and building wise and structure wise you know what i'm saying so that's the first template of building community and things of that nature now anybody who was opposite towards you know working being a slave when it was seen as just having a job they fed you the, the alchemy of the yeast and the wine to actually kill you then once that became insufficient and things of that nature and they started to update it they figured out hey we could use yeast as a subsidiary and we can use alcohol not as in an extreme way to still get that feeling, slow death, but at the same time, you know what I'm saying, utilize it as a form of a practice, so not so harmful, but as a form of a practice of this was one of the ways of how we maintain rulership, the, the starting point of what we're able to have as a pleasure right now, this cracker, this yeast, uh, and, and glorifying our updating of being able to rule society and stuff like that, like this is how they think. And y'all y'all allow them to justify it like it got something to do with actual God or something like that because y'all not smart when y'all talk and know what subject matter and witty enough and know how to do witty banner and shit enough that there's no if ands and buts if they was decide if they was to decide to create a psyop to try to take you like silence you in some way you see what I'm saying 
So you got to be real sufficient. So at one time, bread itself, once you eat it, you die and drink the wine. They make you eat the bread and drink the wine and you die because you was getting judged in a court of law of not accepting their government or not working hard enough in some way, shape or form. So that's the early stages of it. Or there will be no such thing as people even creating Pepsi, alcohol now. And then people like Jim Jones being able to have that idea to practice it, that he wasn't nothing and nothing else but masonry anyway, that he got it from the people who run the world. We, we not learning nothing else but shit the government. Uh... It's teach y'all. You wouldn't know nothing about psychology if they wasn't doing it 20 times thousand more behind closed doors, probably with another shamanic word that leads into other areas of manipulation for you to even use psychology or reverse psychology and think you intelligent in your little small corner apartment or something. You know what I'm saying? So you got to understand that and get deep. You got to understand that shit. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of times y'all be missing the starting points. So when you miss the starting points, you be lost in all the outcomes, the histories and the money, not looking at the practice. The practice will lead you to the starting point. And, and the starting point always leads you to either it's when men stop, stop being cavemen or stop being intelligent where we involving the eat, fucking and sleeping. And when men started capitalizing, keeping track of the sun and moon and start their rulership calendar that time before they die in an oral tradition, they can update that same system. And then de-evolving by creating too many conveniences with the eat, fucking, and sleeping. All the way down to chairs and shit like that. So there's so many conveniences. There's no evolution when it comes to eat, fucking, and sleeping. And how to deal with the negatives and positives in a healthy way based upon having wisdom there. And now we lack it based upon creating conveniences for it that lead into even mental forms of small dick energy. Small dry ovary energy. Creating ideas and thought forms to best protect the vulnerability. Creating thought forms and feelings to best protect the insecurity where these things need to be dealt with, not hidden. And being in that starting point, at you can see the accumulation even within or tradition where people may think they're doing the right thing. The starting point and the outcome of people who in that thought, keep the things hidden. The Illuminati and stuff like that. So beyond us creating words and language and going beyond caveman, just that whole oral tradition and the Masons and the Greeks itself come from small dick energy. It come from the group of humans before we was even getting into conveniences. And, and we were just evolving. And you know what I'm saying? It come from motherfuckers who had the thought of insecurity and vulnerabilities first. You know what I'm saying? So the, the original thought of keeping something hidden can even be played out in a time that we're in an intelligent time. So they have more intelligent ways of what? Keeping something hidden. Or it would be no such thing as the term Illuminati or something like that and luminary and inner energy. So like they just got small dick energy in general. They're not intelligent. Y'all y'all allow them to sit back and think they are. They're not. It's like. It's so simple to look at people like a fucking human, not no try to look at them with all your filtering systems based upon what you think you've seen or what you heard. That gets you separate from God. When you with God, you see through that shit and see the spirit for what they are. It's, it's either the demon seed or it ain't. The de and we ain't got to use the word demon. It's either a spirit on the low end area of where we develop awarenesses and chakras or a spirit in an equilibrium one or a spirit that they went too high above both in some way, shape or form. And there's yin and yangs in those areas. And every time I see a Mason and a Jew they all, or a Jesuit, they always on the lowest end without even being in the equal one. And when they jump too high, it's a different version of a lower one. And all those original thoughts if they taught y'all y'all words and y'all meanings, this why even in y'all brains, when y'all take their religions, y'all create a different world that, and when you describe it, it sounds like something of this world. All the way down to Mecca, Mecca, Neckle. He was talking about the 13th dimension. He was saying, yeah, streets will be upside down and street. Why the fuck would streets be in the night and some, in some other dimension beyond ninth dimension? And there's no such thing as dimensions even being seen like that. Dimensions is different shapes and forms and sizes. So when you're seeing things from different shapes and forms and sizes through those lens, it's only nine. So it's only nine dimensions. You can observe things mentally and nine different dimensions that things could take form. Other than that, they're just making up shit. What else is dimension if we ain't talking about volume, mass, velocity, and form? So it's all, they just, they, it's rhetoric. That's why they got the term rhetoric on one of the Masonic uh, 357 stairs. It's one of the things they use as what they think is intelligent. You might think when a person, they got y'all living backwards. When you think a person saying rhetoric towards what your bias is, you might think they're retarded. In a Mason's mind, when they're giving out a rhetoric, 
right? Or seeing somebody giving out rhetoric, they're looking at it as intelligent. Like, yeah, we created rhetoric to keep people confused in some darkness based upon what we are actually doing. You know what I'm saying? So you got to understand it like that. You can't, or they wouldn't look at these things as important. Thank you so much for the cash app. Why, illusion? I appreciate that for the bottom of my heart. So you got to peep game. So we're in a tricky world right now where y'all have individuals down here that's childish and the, the grave limps that they're willing to do to run the world is really toxic and demonic in nature, but they may not receive karma because there's no one putting spotlight, your thoughts, feelings, that's your energy and where your, your attention go, that's where your energy go and direct it in the right areas, not their magic squares all the time, like limited hangout websites and stuff that throw you off. Put it in those areas to so... We come up with intelligence that is so much a strong command mail wave. Ain't no ifs, ands, buts about it. They can't create no narrative. And if they do, it only add fuel to the fire. So they have to pay attention to what we are aware of. And since it's more percentage scale, they have to come up. They have to be in that thought process, which is energy and their own magic square on coming up with another delusion or diversion or some way, shape or form. Shout out to Young Chop. You know what I'm saying? But uh, come up with some type of uh, formation based upon what you're aware of. And that alone adds more energy, that more fuel to the fire that's negative on them. Because it's more percentage scale. Because it's always teamwork makes the dream work. Negative or positive. The universe is not a respecter of a person. It's only a respecter of team. So you got to outweigh the energy mentally. And then therefore, all those thoughts that they're trying to compete with won't. And the things that they do throw out there will be obvious. It'll be like, oh, you're trying to create a deluge. This is too obvious. And then that whole system get crushed in the spiritual world. So when it manifests into a one, two, a third dimension, it's things that's no longer solidified, no longer works, no longer they can manipulate y'all with. And every time they even try to make y'all pay attention to it again, it, it, it look even more weak. You know what I'm saying? So it got, and that's when they start to experience puny karma the way that they supposed to when you do something that ain't even bad as them and it seems like you get karma way faster. What goes around come, come, uh, come around faster. Way faster. They do something it take about 1,500 years, 2,000 years them just to actually die and just reincarnate and that was the only type of reincarnate. That was the only type of motherfucking karma. Nah, they need to suffer just like you behind bars and shit and get knocked, knocked out and shit. I like to look at it like that. Hey, we all humans. Don't create nothing racist. So you're going to talk about them. You're going to speak like a spiritual adult in front of me. You, we ain't about to speak about no light superhero figures in the mind or nothing. So let's speak like men right now. You want to make me have to worry? Because I, I thought sticks and stones may break our bones, but words hey, can't. You want to make me worry and be docile if I'm going to keep my money or not? Um... If I'm saying a word, shamanic, anti-shamanic, that I don't even know if I'm saying, oh, so you're going you gonna to make me have to fear my position of that too? Okay, well, all right. We, that could be a deal. That could be a deal. Let's shake hands on that. Well, if we're going to share this space, then you should be expecting that it's possibilities you could get knocked out too then. You know what I'm saying? Do we got a deal? We both share this position. You make me in fear that I might say something that I don't know I'm saying and I could get fired for two weeks. And, and and then you in this space with me where, you know, you bringing up light forms and putting magical meanings behind words that God ain't put there. And that will cause you to get knocked out. We got a deal. I bet y'all record labels would be a lot better. Y'all can have more, a lot more money in y'all pocket and contracts and shit. Should have started running a lot more smoothly and shit. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Because we already seen too many results and examples of... People being in fear to say certain things so they don't want to get demonetized. Nick Cannon still want his job. So, okay, we got to worry about that expectation. How come they ain't got nothing that they got to worry about by sharing space with us? Uh, I said, why we got to worry about a certain word we saying? Why they ain't got to worry about getting knocked out? I, I bet, I bet, man, I, I bet a lot of things would be real even. I bet it will. I bet it will. They, how, how we could go through the court of law and business and stuff like that? Because I said something I didn't know I was saying and stuff like that. Well, we're going to go to the court of law for that anyway. And I can lose my job. Shit. Just the same thing with assault. Knock your ass out. It's the same thing with assault. What, you going to give me 100 years from punching somebody? I ain't had no gun or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Fuck around with the industry long enough. Motherfuckers, you'll let one of these Jews treat you like you will never let somebody treat you in the streets. 
and you having to swallow your pride like, uh, yeah, but yeah, I want to stay taking money and I want to stay getting money and I don't want to say this. So they, they get they getting us all in fear and shit like that, because if we might say some words and shit, well, we, they, we need to start putting them in fear and shit like that. And shit, there's possibilities you can get your ass knocked out and get your bucket hat knocked clear up the street somewhere. You know what I'm saying? So do we got a deal? So if I get hired at your job and you don't want me to say something, okay, that's a deal. And, and then if you got in a contract, I could get paid or whatever like that and you don't get knocked out, that's a deal. Other than that, ain't no deal then. If you're going to make me feel pressure that I might say something and I could get fired, then I'm going to make you feel pressure being in your position that well, you got possibilities of getting knocked out. How are we going to bring this together? I think this is better for we can create voting systems about. Yeah, I think this is better. I think this discussion is better that we can start having debates about it. Y'all saying, y'all saying, you know, some real semantic language de uh, debates right there. Yeah, let's actually talk about it. Let's talk about it. What are y'all upset about with certain words y'all putting magic on? And why do y'all put magic on words? And let's talk about the semantic and why y'all giving it so much importance. Yeah, let's, let's talk about it like that. Let's be men. Let's not say, oh, we better not say that little stuff. Yes, you got possibilities of being knocked out. Oh, uh, saying real shit. Like, oh, we gonna keep it real. We gotta, we gotta be for real now. Y'all can't be on no weak ass shit. That's weak ass shit. Y'all don't got no problems putting hands and feet on somebody who look just like you. Last time I checked, P Diddy put hands and feet on Drake and J Cole and stuff like that. God damn it. So wait a minute. But but y'all ain't putting hands and feet on somebody who could say you said something that you don't even know you said. So you got to be in these people's places and stuff like that and feel in fear from saying something. And they need to feel feel in fear from getting knocked out anytime they want to bring that to the discussion. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm, that's how I look at it. I'll be like, as soon as I say something that they they claim that I don't like. I mean, that they claim that they don't like and they want to remind me, hey, you up under our shit. But they do it with law and language and linguistics or word or semantics, right? And as soon as they come and say something like, yeah, you got to get fired because you said something like anti-Semitic or something. I'm, I'm going to look at this like, wait a minute, this ain't a contract. Boom! No, I said, knock your ass the fuck out. You, if my job is threatened because I said something I don't know, your job will be threatened by you having to need an ice pack on your face. For about two weeks and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? You about to sit up here and, and tell me I'm I'm fired or I'm suspended because of a mental illness you got? You know what I'm saying? That's real shit. And if, and if it's something that's important in the whole world for you to justify, I think these are new things we need to start voting and going on strike for. How, how do we got humans down here making words with magic more important and they could get you fired or something like that and, and they don't have to feel like you can get knocked out? No, I said, nah, nah, nah. I think we need to start taking stuff like that to the court. I think we need to start taking that to the bank. I run this little community. I'm the new shadows. I think we need to start. That, that sounds like a better good idea to me. Instead, instead of us having debates about what Bible is better and shit with a Jewish person, I think we need to have a debate with a Jewish person why you, why you have a mental illness and y'all putting magic behind words. So so y'all ain't talking about like old people that just like started this government. Y'all trying to make it sound like it's something else or something. And the moment they get deep into deep, more deep into it, we I think we need more psycho wards. I think we need more Belmont Pines. I think we need more mental illness hospitals and stuff like that. These should be like how the discussions and how we talk. Like, I don't know how y'all be letting Smack Bucky you business get away with the most dumbest, obvious witchcraft I ever seen in my life. Why? I don't get it. I don't get it. And y'all be allowing the discussions to go down these fucking rabbit holes. So it'd be like y'all believe it's in some way too, or just don't know how to see the bullshit to stop all the stuff that got your grandma lost and make a spirit become an adult in front of you, look like something in front of you, make them feel guilty for doing a bunch of that bullshit anyway. You know what I'm saying? Y'all don't do that. That's how I be coming. That's how I be coming. I don't, I don't respect no human like that. I respect and love all humans. Don't insult my intelligence. I don't respect you like that. Now I'm God's child. At that point, I'm a feel offended. Whole governments get, get get buckled down like gravel if they was all metaled and bricks and put together mess fucking around with Uriel and God's children. Because when you attack the mental, spiritual world first, that could dense and become the whole atmosphere the way it's moving in the third dimensional world. So even people who are unaware of me, they're going in the wave I caused. I'm the cause, not the effect. You could be there in that space too. So 
people are starting, even like Ice Spice's new song and shit like that. Like, sound, sound like they was in the studio listening to my live stream last night and heard how I put bars together. They made a whole song sound like me and even said, for sure. I'm like, oh, damn, come on, man. Let's put me on a record. But even if they don't know about me, it's because as Archangel Uriel, I push the atmosphere. I cause it. So I'm able to play them tricks out down here before y'all understand it. Then when y'all see it, it appears to be either people copying me or I'm just good at doing things before everybody else. Mentally, topic wise, expressing all the way to soft era. It don't, it don't matter what it is online. It's just, it's, I don't know. It's just weird. It ain't weird to me. It might be weird to humanity, though. Welcome to the age of Aquarius, bitch. Where you could become the best rapper. Hey, 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 hey. You on your way. You could become the next Tyra Banks. Oh, shit, bitch. But yeah, y'all got to peep game. Uh, the bread and the yeast is one of the first circumstances that they was practicing the little Jim Jones energy, not the rapper. Dip set, dip set. You know what I'm saying? And they, and they was like the, the uh, hold on, some, some with the pump, Johnny, Johnny. They, they you know, open up all the fire holes in New York with a whole bunch of acid water and stuff like that. That's why y'all, y'all brains messed up in New York too. You know what I'm saying? And the grass don't grow the way it's supposed to grow. There's synthetic water and all that stuff and then acid, electric, magnetic water and stuff. So y'all gotta be careful. But the, that's the first battery acid that they did. Yeast that fuck up your hormones and stuff like that. Um, um, and the wine. It, it caused extraction, extreme dehydration. And once your body dehydrated where your blood is lacking or thin or not flowing in fluidly, that dehydration, it speeds up deterioration. So your bones end up being more fragile. And you end up developing immuno system um, uh, problems, issues. So anytime you develop gut problems and shit like that, you're getting ready to have bad nails, bad skin, and lose your hair. Also, because your body dehydrated, and when you're dehydrated for too long, it creates deterioration. And then the lack of blood flow and the lack of thoughts and feelings to condense into the blood flow and things of that nature um, becomes you looking dry. You looking like a prune. You a walking zombie extraction vessel walking around and things of that nature. So you have to be careful of that too. And they did it in a more safer way. But if you're not doing it in moderation, like how they do it, because they just, just be doing it on holidays or Saturday and not eat the stuff they regularly eat through Sunday, through Friday. Some of y'all get drunk every fucking day. Some of y'all eat bread every fucking day. Three months, six months. H hell yeah, you got foggy ass thoughts and organ illnesses and shit right now and three peanut butter sandwiches away from having diabetes or some goddamn shit or having sexual confusions and you don't know what gender you like. You know what I'm saying? Hell fucking yeah, that shit come from that motherfucking bread. Nothing else. Not no soy. The shadow government always be creating psyops on y'all. Limited hangout. It do They do that in everything. Business, entertainment, education, religion, and politics. That's almost like these new diets. And that's more GMO than anything. What's more GMO than fake meat? What the fuck? The, uh, so synthetic. So, for the most part, Here's, it ain't what we do, it's how we do it. If you're looking on canned goods, foods, or whatever, look on the ingredients. And it ain't about what's in it, aka the what, it's about the how. How much is in it? So it ain't about salt, sodium being in something, it's about how much. It, and if you're getting something that's like out of nature, like vegetables or stuff like that, or fruit, it's about how much. So what, when you look on the back of these man-made things, like fruits in a can and stuff like that, like look at how much vitamix is in it. How much did they keep or did it get over diluted based upon the preservatives that they put in it for it to survive for a thousand years in a can or, with a, or on a shelf? But when you're looking at the ingredients of anything, cereal or whatever the case may be, because these are minerals, too, that your body produces that you may lack based upon not being sufficient with your health and your diet. That's small. You know what I'm saying? Like vitamin D, uh, 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 A, B, you know what I'm saying? Stuff like that. So it, it don't matter the cereal, what cereal, it's how much of that is in the cereal. 
Some cereals are just straight salt boxes, like goddamn it, Vienna sausages and packs of noodles. These are, these are the salt packs, hot dogs. These are salt, 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 fake meats. This big salt preserve yeast thingies. You know what I'm saying? But when you're looking on the back of cereal, you want to see certain cereals have more vitamin D. I mean, not vitamin, but uh, like vitamin B and stuff in it uh, than another cereal. So that cereal will replenish you better than that cereal that don't have as much as the same ingredient as the other one. So it ain't about the what. It's always the how and doing things in moderation. But you're going to be fucking with some GMO shit anyway because the world we in. Period. Period. Don't eat tilapia fish. That's a made up fish. I don't even think tilapia is a real fish. That's some liger type shit that they've been practicing for the longest. They've been practicing fake animals so they don't have to eat all the regular animals for, for subsidiary ways to find how to survive on blood and shit. So y'all gotta y'all gotta peep game. You know what I'm saying? It get real deep. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, this 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 is the mind of a non-peon when you got the shadows mind. You got you got you are the shadows. I'm the new shadow. So you got to work with me, not like against me. That's stupid. This is the highest knowledge on the Internet anywhere. Like you can't find no concepts and it because I'm Archangel Uriel for real. This ain't no satire shit, but you need to be careful how much brain bread you're containing. You need to be careful how much goddamn it um, and don't drink every motherfucking day. And now you could do these things in moderation. But if you got foggy thoughts in your mind and, and weird illness problems that just seems like they come and go, you're developing something based upon you're not flushing your blood from the bread. It's literally just the bread. Your blood is starting to become too thick. It's slowing down. And when it slows down, it's hard for your testosterone to fight or have sex with your estrogens to create androgens. The, the things when a man, testosterone, thoughts, women, estrogen, emotions come together, then it create an androgen. It condenses from a gas to a blood now, from a thought gas to a blood now. And that androgen is the androgynous, a.k.a. it's just the mover. And it, when it moves to the organ that you made it from that mind, that chakra, it replenished that organ because that's your organ. It's just a blood clot, a collection of that blood, but suitable for that area to make the system run. And when you don't, when your hormones is in balance, testosterone's all over here, estrogen's all over here. You're they're not having sex. Your estrogens and testosterone's thought you're confusing your thoughts and feelings. That build bend in as adrenaline. Your testosterone's over here, your estrogens over here. You got too much here, too much there. They're not having sex equilibrium to build androgen to create that little equilibrium androgynous thing that really it's just a, a term we're given to an experience of when your blood do fusion, friction, and pressure to produce that bubble, that new version, right? It just caused the expect of moving. So something can move where it needs to go. And when you got too much bread, yeast, which your blood is the production of that already. You just got some overconsumption slowing down that process, separating your uh, thoughts and feelings. So first it'll play out like this with your thoughts. Once you eat bread, you start to feel and think you're fatigued that adrenaline come down it play out through your body and now you got that kind of blood flow to sit down now it's it's correspondences of your blood being heavy it got extra shit in it that your blood already make itself from some foreign version of it now it's about to start going to your organs slower but heavier what were the organs already made out of like, like what is all this we don't this ain't, we don't need all this. We was already going good and smooth and running floor. What is all this extra shit? Now you get ready to develop a cancer, diabetes, lupus, blood clots, uh, blood not running fluidly. Now you need like blood pills or you need that, the insulin shots and shit like that to, to you need assistance for your blood to move, to help you create androgens because your testosterone and androgen, uh, 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 estrogens is all over the place at this point. And now you're you on five different medications getting rocked to sleep by the government and they couldn't just simply tell you you was eating too much bread. That's fucked up. That's fucked up. And since you might be a Google scholar and listening to me, you don't believe yet. You don't believe God children down here yet. You don't believe in you yet. 
you quick to go on Google and try to find another starting point to be like, no, it ain't that simple. Trust me, child. Your ancestor back, your spiritual predecessor. It is that simple. Y'all too busy looking past the simple shit. Then go deep. To the point that you will go in your Bible and the first food they talking about that's synthetic. It's wine and bread. Y'all too busy going deep first. All the simple shit that's in front of you seem like the Illuminati witchcraft work. And then you go deep first and try to make the deep stuff simple. Like you already in one of these toy boxes, not knowing in the basement there's other toy boxes. There's a Marvel comic toy box and a Barbie and Ken doll toy box. You just lost in a DC comic toy box. So you think all the gods is, is dark seed. As soon as you get on the top of the toy box, because you think you're the highest intellect there, you're arguing for it. You start to see other toy boxes and people arguing for them. And you, and you try to argue, no, no, Thanos ain't the god. Dark Seed is God. Then you got Barbie and Ken doll. No, the, the little little 12 year old girl in the room is our god and stuff like that. The, 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 you still argue for Dark Seed. Like, nah, the, ain't no woman, no god. That's feminism. Dark Seed, y'all said, but all y'all are just lost toys in the toy box, lost in the religious and shit. Not knowing when you come down as a spiritual god down in the basement, you start looking at everything like, oh, okay, who created toys in general? Then you start being like, oh, they building shit, all the Masons. Oh uh, look, who who are they calling a the god? Uh, 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 another a figure, a toy. Who are they make? Who are they god coming the form of? A light. So this is how they get y'all all praising they shit, even when you don't think so, and you think you being rebellious. Christian, Islam, Muslim, y'all all arguing for y'all god, but all y'all god come in the form of light. Who came up with the intellectual property saying God come in light? That's who y'all worshiping. Last time I checked, that light information that Lucifer was crafted by a man with their own small dick energy and securities. Thank you so much for the donation, uh, Mellow Raging Sun. I appreciate that from the bottom of my real shit. And, and then last time I checked, when you practice it, you get crumbs. They get the bread loaf. They the only people sitting in these big cathedrals in the Vatican and don't have to work. You the only one going to work and still have to worry how you're going to pay for your bills, even if you're a preacher. And you got to come up with confusion in your mind like, well, I'm preaching not to get paid, y'all. So I got a, I got other jobs and I'm coming here to preach out of work. You just put yourself in all kind of slaves and bondage just to get crumbs for their God, for them to be like, yep, that's our shit. Hey, when y'all going to build our new technology, we wrote the blueprint that we ain't got to put together because y'all y'all are slaves. I am I'm tired of that shit. I, I, I'm not, man, you ain't allowed to have no humans down here like that. What? And you can't tell me that ain't the results we see. That's the outcome we see. So it, it seemed like I'm a little bit closer to the starting point in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? So y'all got to peep game. It's a crazy world out here. It gets real deep. And if you ain't, man, look, algorithm will switch up on your ass real motherfucker fast in this new age of a motherfucking Aquarius. You better believe it. We're in a new time. We're in a time of magic, bitch. Where's your crystals and motherfucking gems? Where's your motherfucking candles? You know what I'm saying? We in a motherfucking time of magic. I told y'all on a previous my motherfucking post with these alignments and shit like that. You be seen for who you are based upon your faith and belief and your creative attributes, not necessarily at this moment, the, the tools and the objects it take to get these things done. Just you walking in your truth, just you walking. Even if you're a musician, you might got a microphone or things of that nature, but people will need you to walk it right now. Just express it. Even if you a freestyler, freestyle at the point right now, that gets you further than, oh, I got to wait and construct it and use the tools to put it up as a presentation. That's not the matter right now. Get your crystals and gems, bitch. People don't want to know about you and shit, but we in a new time. And if you want to not have so many motherfucking hormonal imbalances that'll lead you into going trying to figure out what's wrong with you, then you got five, six medications just like your goddamn grandmother and your grandfather who just got out the goddamn war in 1978. Chill out on the motherfucking bread. And if you're going to do it, do it in moderation. You know what I'm saying? I recommend bell peppers. You know what I'm saying? Stuffed bell peppers and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I know a lot of y'all still eat meat. You want to fry a little bit of uh, some little uh, baked chicken or cut chicken up and stuff like that. Some of y'all still eat sausage or whatever the case may be. Little bacon bits. You know what I'm saying? Or hamburger and shit like that. Little lettuce, uh, peppers, tomatoes and shit. Little onions. Chop it up and shit like that. And get you a bell pepper. Stick that bell pepper before you even dress the bell pepper up first. Before you even stuff it. You know what I'm saying? Put that motherfucker in the oven all seasoned and stuff like that. All serenaded and you know what I'm saying? Spiced up, soaked up already in whatever marinara sauce that you got up there 
there 15 minutes before you put it in the oven. Put them bad babies in the motherfucking oven for goddamn it. Like goddamn five minutes or some shit like that. Then start putting the goddamn toppings and shit like that. Hell yeah, bell pepper taco on this bitch. No, oh, Sarah, that fucking bread alone. You know, fucking cornstarch and yeast in your blood slow down and shit like that. You got, you got a headache throughout the day and shit for no motherfucking reason. You know what I'm saying? You can't think straight. You can't have a full conversation without getting a little frustrated with a person and shit like that. Man, that shit come from bread. Big old long subway piece of bread. Oh, so come, that come from that goddamn piece of crust. Oh, that come from that goddamn hot dog bun. Mm, so you just ate a whole big old, big old cotton ball piece of salt. Oh, uh, said the goddamn hot dog bun and hot dog. You ate a whole big old cotton ball piece of salt. Salt water taffy ball of salt. Real shit. They, they, look, they, they motherfuckers even made some synthetic shit that don't even come together. Salt water taffy. Three things that don't even supposed to come together. You could you could count on some fucking humans to rock y'all to sleep with some shit. Real shit. Salt water. T T taffy, come on now. I, I like Laffy Taffy's. Th that's it. And I don't even like Laffy Taffy's, but I respect Laffy Taffy just to be a Laffy Taffy if somebody was giving it out on Trick or Treat time. You know what I'm saying? Goddamn water. I like water pure. Y even if we buy it at the store. Smart water. You know what I'm saying? All that goddamn shit. What's the other one? <sighs> All these goddamn electromagnetic water, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the, the FIFA water, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Water, leave water alone. Salt is good for seasoning food and stuff like that, and good salads and all good chicken. You know what I'm saying? Fried or baked chicken and stuff like that. Wait a minute, but come on now. Salt, water, taffy. Come on, get the fuck. Let Lord just sigh up. Goddamn sigh up. Yeah, they, they ain't too bored, y'all. They too bored. And they look, they created a blueprint. We somewhere thinking we got a good job working at Willy Walker factory. Cause hey, hey, I got a job. Oh, look, little old Annie finally got a job. Jimmy got a job. Sally got a job. Where you work at? I work at the candy factory. Yeah, I'll be making saltwater taffies and stuff. Look, y'all just totally distracted from the witchcraft. <coughs> you just happy you got a job. But you but you go build their world every day for someone else's grandkids to go to college for free. And and you was in that same system when you went to college before you had uh, and got that job. And you was at college sitting next to someone who was going there free. And you got to get that candy job because you got to pay for your books and shit because they don't add that on there. So you need about $500 to pay for that book for that class and you in college debt low key because of that and shit like that. So you got to work at the candy factory. You all happy because you can work and pay for your books. You hold, you distracted that. You working for homie or homegirl you sitting next to in college. God damn it, go in there for free and they get ready to go get in the Vatican and shit and come up with new psyops for people after y'all to do what you doing right now making salt water taffies and shit and just lost in the distraction you just happy you got a job you're that's a concept of building their world and you don't care who face on a statue you putting up there on top of the building you just happy you got a job hopefully you don't fall on a construction job and hurt your back you know what I'm saying real shit your life is in risking hopefully you you, don't, you join a war and you ain't the one who get murdered you know it's like it's all this type of stuff hopefully you eat the, you don't eat the wrong stuff or get the wrong jab and you ain't the one that's a statistic on a news channel you see how they do us do you see that why y'all don't see that you know what I'm saying it's deep out here in the game you know what I'm saying all the way down to goddamn it got cotton and stuff like that and somehow they got you plucking the cotton and now it's the new version you just think you got a good job making cotton candy and and, and colorful cotton and stuff like that and shit and, and they just sitting back like yeah it's a just a good side out we getting rich off uh colors we got colors Taking us coming from the plant, cotton ball, you know what I'm saying? And hey, let's get rich off this. Let's make them, let's make these colors make cotton candy. Color for cotton. Hey, we about to take it to the top. I'm tired of seeing niggas do shit like that. I'm tired. I'm tired. Y'all better take y'all mind back. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. I see y'all tonight on the astrology. You know what I'm saying? Before I hit the road. But God damn it, the moon is in Virgo. I got to go in on that. So we'll probably do that on the other channel and shit. Uh, later on tonight at 10 o'clock. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. Slow down on the bread. Treat it like your day off of work or a snack after a meal or something you do in moderation when you don't binge watch. Like set yourself up like, okay, this the day I'm a drink or this the day I'm a party. Set it up and know like... Oh, oh, this my friends for this, this my friends for that. Treat bread like that. Okay, like, or, or I mean, this special meal, 
okay, then I'm going to fuck with bread today. But then I'm going to leave bread alone for the next two days type shit. Like, like, get into that type of concept with the bread. And I swear, when you do that, you're going to start realizing when you, the day that you pick to eat bread, pay attention. Be a spiritual sensei. Pay attention to each second. You're going to realize all the way it was affecting you and you ain't realized it before. Then you got it. You got it. And I love all y'all from the bottom of my heart. Stay spiritually protected. It's demons out here that got control and shit that they don't need control over.